Welcome to YOLO, Texas. I'm Erin Carreño, born and raised in the beautiful Lone Star State. Ride shotgun with me as we visit breathtaking views. This place is unbelievable. Check out heart racing attractions and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. You see the smile? That is good, bravo. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, YOLO! You only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide for all the things that put the great in the great state of Texas. I'm your host AC and we have a super show coming up for you today. First, we're headed to a one-of-a-kind experience that combines the great outdoors, a ghost town, and a good old-fashioned chili cook-off all in one down in Terralingua and Big Bend National Park. And to get the inside scoop, we sent our resident tech expert, founder of TexasHumor.com and chili cook-off judge, JB Saceda. Let's take a look. This is Terlingua, Texas, a mining town turned ghost town like so many others forgotten by history across the American frontier, except for one tiny difference. And that's because this sleepy ghost town is actually alive and well, thanks in part to its proximity to Big Bend State and National Parks. And on this particular weekend, it's home to the granddaddy of all chili cook-offs. So let's take a ride. After hearing a bit about the history of the event, I decided to get a taste for the history of the town with a quick tour of the ghost town and general store. So now we're over here at the Trilingua Ghost Town Cemetery, which has the final resting place of many former Trilingua residents. Given that we're so close to the Mexican border, there's a ton of Mexican influence here in this region. The chili cook-off happens on the first weekend in November, and coincidentally, that's the same time frame as the Dia de los Muertos, which was celebrated here last night at the Terlingua Ghost Town Cemetery, which you can see behind me. find yourself in Trilingua, this is one of my favorite places to stop, a general store where you can stop and grab a cold one. Might go ahead and uh, trade in my hat today, putting some time down in mine. I wonder if I need to get this thing registered, pick one up. This is my kind of flask. All flasks are my kind of flask, but this one is especially my kind of flask. So the building that we're standing in used to be the company store for one of the mines here in Terlingua. And this map up here is a depiction of what it looked like back in the day, uh, early 1900s when they were still mining what was known as Quicksilver back then uh, and now we know as Mercury. There are a lot of really great things to buy here, but my favorite's in the cooler back in the corner. I'm not a miner, but uh, this is some Terlingua gold that I do like digging up. For one weekend, thousands of people descend upon this tiny ghost town to vie for the title of champion chili cook. But chili is only part of the attraction. They've got competitions for brisket, chickens, ribs, and a margarita mix-off to name a few. And I would know, because I'm not just here as a TV host, I'll be judging on the finals table tomorrow, because clearly I have impeccable taste, or at least my mom tells me. So anyway, let's dig in. But that doesn't mean my trip was going to be all work and no play. 
In addition to the competition, there's music, dancing, and did I mention margaritas? And just a few miles down the road off in the distance, one of the most spectacular national parks in the United States, Big Bend. And we're going to do it all this trip because you only live once, right, Texas? To get a greater appreciation for the art of chili, I spoke with a couple of former first place chili cooks to learn a little bit more about what it takes to make an award winning chili. So I just started cooking chili last year, and this is my first year to qualify. 17 years. 17 years? Yeah. About my fifth year out here. Yeah, that's I guess good, that's two, 2004. Good. So with day one behind us and a good meal in our belly, it's time for some dancing, some drinking, and looking forward to tomorrow when the real competition starts. We'll check in with you then. Cheers. It was down to work in my official role as judge of the Terlingua Chili Cook-Off. And what I quickly discovered was that the hardest part of this job was going to be picking a winner. Terlingua is home to the best chili cook-off this side of the Mississippi, and probably on the other side for all I know. So I judged 25 chilies, I'm pretty full. Not sure who the winner is, but I feel like a winner because I got to eat a lot of chili, drink a lot of tequila, and now I'm gonna stumble my way back to camp. So we'll see y'all later. Don't go away. Yolo, Texas will be right back with the winner, plus a tour of the spectacular Big Bend National Park. See you after the break. Thomas J. Henry a lawyer with more than 25 years experience, a law firm that has resolved tens of thousands of cases for people who have been hurt in accidents, winner of numerous industry awards and recognized by the nation's top publications with offices across Texas and over 100 attorneys ready to fight for you. When you've been injured, you deserve the best. Call Thomas J. Henry. I'm not a girly girl, or a sporty girl. I never really thought about what kind of girl I was, until we started coming here. Now my dad calls me an island girl, and this is my island.
Welcome back to Yolo, Texas. We're in Terlingua, just outside spectacular Big Bend National Park for the world famous annual chili cook-off where I'm serving not just as the Yolo Texpert, but with the difficult role of judging the finals table, tasked with helping decide whose chili stood above all others. And the time to announce the winner had arrived. You could cut the tension with a knife. All that we have left on the chili cook-off agenda is to party with good music and cold beer because that's what chili cook-offs are all about. Located along the border between the United States and Mexico, Big Bend contains some of the most spectacularly scenic views in the Western Hemisphere, covering thousands of miles of peaks, canyons, rock formations, and enough wide open spaces to satisfy even the strongest case of rambling fever. on the chance to hike a beautiful park like this. Plus yesterday I consumed about seven days worth of calories, so hiking, not a bad idea. Obviously, we weren't going to see the entire park in one day, but our drive to Santa Elena Canyon took us on a beautiful scenic drive around the Chizos Basin in the heart of the park.
learn more about the Terlingua Chili Cook-Off, go to abowlofbread.com and nps.gov to learn more about hiking at Big Bend. While you're at it, head on over to Yellow Texas Facebook page to get some more ideas for things to do and places to see around the Lone Star State. Stick around because after the break, we are getting into the Christmas spirit with a trip to a holiday decorator's dream store right here on Yellow Texas. Why sing about chestnuts roasting when IHOP has new cheesecake stuffed French toast? Brioche French toast layered with creamy cheesecake, then topped with glazed strawberries, warm apples and toffee, or cookies and cream made with Oreo cookie pieces. Now that's something to sing about. Cheesecake stuffed French toast, only at IHOP. Now with IHOP and Go, order online and get $5 off your first order of $25 or more. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. We've got time for one more Lone Star State excursion. Now if you're like me, it doesn't really feel like Christmas until the trees trim, the mistletoes hung, and you transformed your house into a winter wonderland. Which brings me to Decorator's Warehouse, the largest Christmas store in all of Texas. And with holidays right around the corner, we figured this would be a great place to find an ornament or two, or maybe even some more. Let's find out. Located in Arlington, Decorator's Warehouse is a Christmas lover's paradise with everything you need to have the best decorated house on the block. It's all the brainchild of David, a man who obviously loves Christmas and does a pretty good Santa impression too. Ho, ho, ho! Welcome to Decorator's Warehouse. Now that is a welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this place is magical. Yeah. How did this idea come about? Well, I think it starts when you're a kid. We had the most magical Christmases at our home and everything was done and you got up as a kid, you couldn't wait to get out there in the morning. And that is kind of the thing that drove me to start this. Yeah. Uh, and when we started, the whole goal was to give people a place where they could go back in time, they could remember how they grew up and just have those memories for their family. So that started and it just kept growing and growing and growing and, and mainly, because I love it so much myself, it just is a, it's a labor of love really at the end of the day. So we have just kept adding, we've added some great people and we build all these sets and this type of thing just to give people that kind of Christmas. So that's kind of how it started and that's how it keeps growing. Okay, so I am assuming Christmas is your favorite holiday? Uh, <laughs> let me think. Yes, Christmas is my favorite holiday, absolutely. Okay. You know, it's the best time of year for everybody, I think. So what is your type of style for Christmas decor and decorating and Christmas trees? What would you say is your favorite style? I like it all, but I'm probably a, I'm a traditional guy. I like the reds and the greens and all the fun stuff that goes with that, like you're looking at right here, that type of thing. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta lean towards the traditional, I think, at the end of the all day. Right. Well, you just have it all here. We try to, we definitely <laughs> try to. We're so glad you're here and want you to look around and anything we can do for you, let us know. Thank you, you definitely are getting us into the holiday spirit. Good, that's great, <laughs> that's great.
Yolo Texas approved. At over 60,000 square feet and custom themes to choose from, it's a lot to take in. So it helps to have one of the Decorator Warehouse's helpful staff walk you through it. And these folks, they really know their stuff. Erin, these are our most popular product. It's an LED bulb, 50,000 hours. And watch this, my favorite part. I don't hear any crunch. <laughs> they don't break? They don't break, try it. Hey, okay, <laughs> now I know which ones I need to buy. <laughs> Decorators Warehouse has its fair share of Christmas decor, including more than 100 styles of Christmas trees. We found out that Decorators Warehouse is a Newman Gold distributor, but what exactly does that mean for us common folk that don't know the terminology here? <laughs> well, Newman Tree has always been based on quality, long-lasting Christmas trees. As a matter of fact, we wanted to build something that would last a customer for as long as they wanted to replace light bulbs. So again, Newman Gold is only available at Decorators Warehouse because not only did we build a great product, they make sure that you're happy with it forever. Stick around because after the break, we'll take a quick tour to see more of what the warehouse has to offer. On average, 37,000 people die in auto accidents each year. That's more than 100 deaths every day. Speeding, drunk driving, and distracted driving are the biggest culprits. If you were hurt in an auto accident, we can help. Thomas J. Henry has been handling accident cases for more than 25 years. Call now. Our attorneys are available for you 24-7, nights and weekends. I'm not a girly girl. Or a sporty girl. I never really thought about what kind of girl I was. Until we started coming here. Now my dad calls me an island girl. And this is my island. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we're visiting the largest Christmas store in all of Texas. If walking through the store doesn't inspire your creative juices, I don't know what will, but I also hear they have little craft waiting for me. Let's go find out. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, the Decorators Warehouse website has some handy video tutorials and we're happy to let me get my hands on and show me a thing or two about crafting my own holiday swag. All right, well, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use our bow. And I have these already made here just to simplify it, but if you're not sure how to make a bow, we have that on our YouTube station. Nice. Um, and it's just wired here in the back. Okay. And so we're gonna just drop that down at the top of our swag. And we're gonna wrap that floral wire around the back to okay. secure it in place. It takes one 10 yard roll to create this swag, um, and that does include the bow. All right, so that's kind of the base of our teardrop. So now we're ready to add in some pieces. And the finished product, nice and full and ready to hang on your front door. 
Take that, Mark Stewart. Now that I was really feeling the Christmas spirit, it was time to get down to business and fill my shopping cart. But in a place this big, it's easy to get carried away. Merry Christmas. Wanted to let you know what I wanted for Christmas. That's what we do here, right? Really want PlayStation set. Slip inside the pet turtle. Overalls are coming back. Pokemon game set. BB gun. Don't forget my name. A E R I N. If you need a break from crafting or shopping for Christmas decorations, you can recharge your batteries at the Decorators Warehouse's cozy little in store tea room. so much. Oh my goodness, this food looks delicious. Oh my. Bon appetit. So if you're looking to decorate this Christmas, drop what you're doing and head to Decorator's Warehouse. As for me, after a full day of Christmas preparations and sharing the joy with all my fellow shoppers, it was time to head home. Okay, that's gonna do for me at the Decorator's Warehouse, and I think it's safe to say I'm gonna have the best decorated house in the whole entire block. But the real question is, how am I gonna pack this all in my car right now? We'll see. Come on, Kevin! Planning on decking the halls this holiday? Head to decoratorswarehousearlington.com to learn more. Plus, you'll find video tutorials of how to craft your own Christmas decorations just like they do it in the store. Follow Decorators Warehouse and Yellow Texas on Facebook for a chance to win a $50 gift card. Well, that's all we have time for here today on Yellow Texas. We'll see you next time, but until then, it is a big state to explore with fun around every corner. So get out there, Texas. You only live once. Drunk driving is among the leading causes of auto accident deaths in the U.S. More than 10,000 people were killed in drunk driving crashes in 2015 alone. An average of one death every 51 minutes. If you were hurt in a drunk driving accident, we can help. Thomas J. Henry has helped drunk driving accident victims for more than 25 years. Call now. Our attorneys are available for you 24-7, nights and weekends. Why sing about chestnuts roasting when IHOP has new cheesecake stuffed French toast? Brioche French toast layered with creamy cheesecake, then topped with glazed strawberries, warm apples and toffee, or cookies and cream made with Oreo cookie pieces. Now that's something to sing about. Cheesecake stuffed French toast, only at IHOP. Now with IHOP and Go, order online and get $5 off your first order of $25 or more.